Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I am going to be starting a new journal and this journal will be using the Digitals by Happiness and Crafting by G. Kerr and these are called With a Touch of Lace and so I'm just going to do a quick flip through of the pages so you can get an idea of what's in the kit and so it's a very pretty kit. It has all kinds of flowers and um, it, it's gorgeous colors and so I'm just going to do a flip through first of all the ephemera and journaling cards and tags and things like that and then I've gone ahead and I have cut down the pages and I have them ready because my printer you know you can see here prints with a border so I've gone ahead and cut out my pages to get those ready and I have printed them on front and back and so I'll just show you all of them because all of these pages are from the kit as well and so um, this one I don't have anything on the back and so then I've got this sheet from the kit and here's another one and even though it looks like they're the same they're not there's they're very different pages. You can see now there's, it's just like a collage of all the different flowers in the kit, but on two separate pages. And then we have, I didn't print on the back of this one, and there's a purpose for my project, what I'm doing. And then here's a page from the kit with the flowers. And these are just such gorgeous flowers and colors. I love the reds and pinks together. And then we have another page here. And yes, this kind of looks the same, but together you can see that they're totally different pages. They're just similar. Let me see if I can figure out how to show you. But they are similar but different. And then we have on here, the back one, this is one of the background pages. And I thought this would be a great page to journal on, so I put it on the back of this sheet. And then we have this one. And the background of it, another background page. And then here's this one. And more background papers from the kit. And this is just gorgeous. I love these roses. And that's another one of the background pages. And then this one, and I've repeated the background page on it, the same as that one. So these are some beautiful papers, and so I look, I'm just looking forward to getting started with this journal, and I'm excited about it. I've already been making a few things. I've already got some floral things already made, because with this one, you can use all types of flowers. It's not just set to roses, and you've got daisies, and you've got roses, and you've got irises, and then I don't know the name of all the flowers, but you have tons of different flowers, so I already have some embellishments made up and so now I'm just going to get started on this journal okay to get started on this journal I've gone ahead and cut out my pages and the only thing I did to cut them out was my printer is has a border so I just cut the board white border off and then I just folded these and I've gone ahead and also arranged them into the book and so some of the pages I did print on 65 pound cardstock and then other pages in the book is printed on um, 32 pound premium HP paper. So let's just do a little flip through to show you the pages so far that I have in the book. And I haven't sewn anything yet. I'm just trying to arrange the pages. So I've gotten, and I've printed front and backs on some of them. And then some of them that wasn't printed front and backs, you can barely see it, but I have gone through and stitched. So for this one, I stitched the top and the bottom. And that way you have a pocket here. And then, um, Let's see, then here's a book page, and then I have some tea stain paper, and then this is just an old scrapbook and paper, and then more paper from the kit. This is, and then this one I stitched around the side and the bottom with a zigzag stitch, and then I've got a top pocket. Let me hold that up so you can see it. Because what I did was I used, I don't know if you can tell on camera, I didn't use white thread, I used a, here it is. A beige color thread for this one and I thought that looks so good with this paper so I've stitched this together and so I have a pocket at the top and then here I've added one of my fabric pages that I make up I just ha have mass made these several weeks ago and I have several left still so this is just um, muslin over a book dictionary book page and then I've just added some lace to it and see it's a pocket and so I've only added lace on one side and then this is the envelope that I made with the pocket and you there's a previous video on this and I will have it up here in the right hand corner a link to it but it'll also be in the description and then that was just the napkin I used and then I have a hymnal page another page from the kit and this is a page from the kit and this is a book page of a lady smelling roses and then on this side there is some roses this is an envelope did I call this an envelope this is actually a paper bag this is a paper bag and then this is the envelope and there's a video on this as well and I'll link to that in the description another book page 
And then I used um, cardstock for this one. And so this is our center page, and it is from the kit. And then I made up this. This is in another video. It's my paper bag video where I made the paper bag pockets. And so that's what I have so far in this book, in this journal. And I've added this in because I think I'm going to attach it there for a page, but I'm going to, I'm thinking about it. And so I've, that's all I've done so far is just put these together. And then now I'm going to work on adding some of the ephemera. And I have all this stack of ephemera. I don't know if I'll use it all or embellishments and things. So some of it I pulled out from my um, stash that I had already made up using some of Happiness and Crafting papers. And so it's going to have other kits mixed in with it because those kits um, seem to match as well because this is a all types of flowers in this kit. And so I've also made up a little, for this kit, this was a paper that came in it, and I made up a little journal here. This is seam binding. And then I just made up a little journal using paper that was left over from packaging. This is what comes in like Amazon packaging. So I pressed it out and then I cut it down. And all I've done is just sewn it down the middle with the, long, the longest stitch my machine would do. And I think that was a four. And so I just stitched it down the middle to stitch this notebook together. And I think it has about, let's see, how many sheets did I use? One, two, I think I have three, four, six sheets maybe? Five, five sheets inside and then the cover makes six. And so I've just made that up. And at the same time, I took some tea stain paper and I made up some little, like a little accordion circle book as well as an accordion style rectangular little journal as well. So that's a few things that I made up that I don't have. I did film it, but I it really, I thought that this was so simple that um, just sewing these together that you probably wouldn't want to see that video. So sometimes I do that. I make a video and then I'm like, you know what? It's so simple that I doubt they want to see that. So I did not upload that one. If you do want to know how I made these, all of these, um, just let me know and I can upload the video because I do have it, but um, and it's a very short little video, but I don't know. Sometimes I just I just do that, and I think, well, maybe it's too simple. You don't need to. See, you don't want to see that. So um, I do have a video for that if you want. And then I've got some other pockets and things here that I've made, and I have the video. I will link in the description as well on how I made these little vellum sheets to go on my pages. And then I have lots of pockets and things. Some of them are from the um, Friday Freebies that G offers, and I'm in her Facebook group. You can go to her Facebook group to get those. And so some of these are from that, and I've just made up the pockets from that as well. So let's get started on adding things to this one. And I'm trying to decide if I want to stitch it together I think I'll wait. I don't, that's right. I don't even have the cover figured out yet. I'm not sure what type of cover I want to use yet. So let's just start adding some of the decorations. So one thing I know I want to add is I have this I want to use as a pocket. And then I'm going to take one of these little journals I made, the little accordion journal, and I'm going to add it to the top of that pocket. So I'm going to just add some glue to the back of this and then add it to the little dolly and I think that would be cute and the dolly is going to actually be a pocket I'm going to put it on here so that it's a pocket so what I want to do is I want to pay attention to it and be sure I have you know some straight here and here of the dolly so that I can glue it on as a little well not a pocket but a side tuck Okay, so I kind of don't want it straight up and down. I kind of want it going towards the side like that, I do believe. Let me see. I can change it real quick if I don't. But, yeah, I think that's how I want it on the page. So, that's good. So, then I can just tie this shut. And then I don't have to tie this little knot here. I think I'm going to do it this way because it will make it easier to open. Is I'm just going to make a little bow and tie around. And then just do it like this. I might have should have used a different color bow now that it's in the book, but that's okay. I think that'll be good right there. I think that's kind of cute. So let's just go ahead and attach this pocket. So I'm just going to go down 
this side here and across this side here. And then we're just going to attach it in there. Okay, and then I could put, I can probably come back and put some other things in it, but I already have some of these. And these are just some little um, labels and tags and stuff that's in one of the Friday freebies. And so I am using a bunch of these things because I have them on hand and I think that they will be neat in this book. So yeah, that's just got the flowers there. So I could put both in there or just one, it doesn't matter. And I'll probably, I'll come back and put another decorative embellishment in there too, but we'll come back and do that. I just want to kind of add everything to the pages first and then we'll come back and um, add the tags and things. Okay, so these right now, I don't, I need something for this page, but right now I'm going to move on to this page. I already have some things in mind. So this is a pocket that I made on Roxy's Weekly Challenge, and this is a Tim Holtz butterfly, and then this is some background paper from another kit from G, so I will list that kit below so that you can find it for this paper. Um, I'm thinking it's one of the roses, but I can't remember the name of it. So it was supposed to be a pocket, and I made these up in, that, in a challenge, and somehow I forgot to glue this one shut, which is great, because now what I'm gonna do, instead of gluing it shut like a pocket, it's gonna be a pocket here, and then, let's see, I think there's a pocket, there's a pocket here. So I just have to glue this side shut, and I'm not going to glue this shut. I'm going to put some journaling paper in there, and this is going to be a little journaling spot. So, I just want to take some tea stain paper, and I want to add it in here. And I'm just going to rip it with, tear it with my tearing ruler. I can just find it. I've got so much on my desk today. So it's just gonna take me a moment to find it all, but I was just want to eyeball it here. Let me see, I wanna tear the edge first, so that way I don't mess up. And I'm gonna tear it large enough that this little leftover piece will be good for some collagen or some strips that I make up. Let's see, I'm gonna do it like that, and then maybe right in there, so. Okay, and then Take the bottom off here. And then we just decide how big it goes in here. So there we have that one. And then let's make one for the inside of here. I think I'll just put it right here and then make it just a little bigger so I can trim down that side. Okay, and then it needs to be... I do have a lot of the stuff put together, ready to go. It's just that a few little things I gotta do this, do some little work on them. But I'm hoping to get this one done fairly quickly. I don't wanna take since I have a lot of this embellishments already made, I don't want to take that long putting it together because I feel like I have most of it ready anyway. I'm trying to find my ink. This, I'm just using Stampin' Up Soft Suede again. I just want to ink the edges of this paper. Kind of just highlight the edges of this. And this is just 32 pound paper that I have just tea. No, I, let me take the back. I did not tea stain it. That's why it's so dark. I coffee stained it. I'm just getting it inked really good. And then I'm going to add it to my page. And so I think it looks good on this page. I think the colors. I don't know if you can see, it may not look the same on camera, but I do like the greens with the greens over here, so I think this will be good for this page. And then this page, is, of course, has the pocket here, so I'm going to fill it with something. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm trying to think how I wanna do this. I could just, I haven't glued this whole thing together. Let me glue this part together for sure. So I do want that glued together. And then I'm trying to decide, that's supposed to, and then I'm supposed to glue 
um, on this side for this pocket to work. But my thoughts are now, I'm looking at it, what if I just make the envelope, I make this thing itself a pocket and just glue this shut. I guess I could just glue it down the edge here and then it could be two pockets if you wanted it to be. I like that. And so now I'm just going to add it to the page. And I do want to make it a tuck spot. Okay, so the more I look at this, I don't like the fact of how loose it is on this page right here. So I am going to glue it back. I'm going to glue it down, and then, let me see if I can, it's not staying good like that because it's loose. So I'm going to glue uh, three sides, and it's just going to be a pocket. There, we're just going to have a pocket right there. There we go. Okay, so I think that will be better. I like that better. Let's see here. This right here, I was thinking that this would be a good place to put these. This is the where I heat emboss this with some gold embossing powder. And I think that this would be excellent here just because, I want to see about the page edge here, just because I like how it looks where you see the daisy through it and it looks like that the, and I didn't do that on purpose, but it looks like they fit around that wording just perfectly. So let me see. And what I'm going to do is have it on the back side here. Have it flap over because I think that's pretty to be on this side. And that way that's the way it's attached. And then when you flip this up, you can flip it up. And you could journal on this page all around it. But that way you have a little flip up there. So I think I will just add that there. So let's just take this page out of the book. And let's just add it. So let's see, just trying to see if I want to ink anything. I think I do want to ink the edges just slightly of this right here. So that way when it's on the back side of that page, it, it really stands out too. So let's see, and let's see, how's it going to look? Do, and do I want to add anything to the other page before I add this? That's the thing too is I want to center it up on this page but also, is there anything I want to add? So just going to add some glue. Clean this off. I left it open. So I'm going to add the glue to this side because the other side, just past that fold line because the other side's going, I don't want to attach to the page. I want it to be able to, you know, flap up. So that's why I'm going to do it like that. Then I'm just going to try to center it up here. And just fold it down. There we go. And it may have come over too far. It's still wet enough. I can slide it back over. Well, having trouble getting it centered now. There we go. We'll flip it over here to make sure that I like where it's at. And I think that's good. I like that. So, and then, let me leave that there because on the opposite side, I want to add this one. And I like how these daisies are here. And I was thinking that this might be pretty. I don't know. That's quite a bit of daisies. Let's, let's hold on. I have another idea. What if I took, let's see, this is the next page. I try to keep my pages in order because I like how I had them. And what if instead I put it on the back side of this page. 
So I have two options. You can flap it over the page like that and then have it showing on this side. But I can also just have it glued to this page and then it flaps up like that. And you see the white lace. And that's how I'm gonna do it on this one. So I'm just going, oh, I don't know. You can still see the clear. Let me see again. So you're gonna see the clear vellum as well. Hmm. That probably is not a problem. I may can just add decoration at the top, but I'd make a different one up that kind of matched um, something different for the kit. I think I may do that. So I think I'll still glue it down this way and then it'll flap up and down instead of gluing it over the page. I like it on the plain page better. So that way you've got a hidden journaling spot too. So when you want to journal, you can have it where it's hidden, covered up with the vellum. It would look kind of cool though to um, add a photo underneath and then you could see your photo through that. I like that. So let's just press that all down. Okay. And it's hanging over just a little bit on the page, so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim it off the extra. So it's going to go all the way down to the bottom of this one. There we go. I think that's very pretty. You can still put things underneath it if you wanted to. I wonder how this would look on here beside that page. That's kind of pretty. I kind of like how this looks collaged and then this is collaged. But then you've got the white over here, so I may have to change that. It could always be attached over here. Let's just see. Okay, so I'm just going to put some book page in this, or I may use, let me see if I have any paper. I do have this from the kit, so that would kind of blend in, or I could use this one. How does that look on that page? Or more like this. I think I'm gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna have to cut it down fit inside there. Cut it. Okay, there we go. So then I'm just going to put it down in here. There we go. So I'm just going to fold that over on the original fold line. And so then what I'm going to do is I'll just glue that flap down so you'll never see that flap. And then when you open it back up, it just blends in with the page. So let's just add that. Okay. Just kind of want to center it up here. I'm 
Wow, well, that blends in really good. I like that. I do. And then you have a pocket here. And then it folds over. So let's just add the pocket to the other side, the other one that I made. Let's see what it's going to be beside, though, first. So it's going to be beside another collage. I like it. So let's just add it to this page. And so I have to decide again. Do I want it on this side or the other? I like how that turned out. But I'm going to try something really quick. I'm going to punch it with my edge punch and see if it makes a good lacy effect. If it does, then I will just stick it on the other side. Let it flop over. Oh, it's going to have trouble it getting through all this glue on the thing, but I'm still going to try it. Oops, I want to make sure it's lined up good. And then, this is probably definitely going to gum up my um, punch here. It's probably not a good idea to be punching through all this glue that was on the envelopes. Okay. And then, pull this off. See how that looks on that side. I think it's pretty. I do think I'm going to cut off this little tip here. See how it looks kind of sharp? I think I'm just going to cut that little sharp tip off. Okay. And so then we'll see. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. Even though it's got its own sticky, I'm going to add some more glue. It does have some sticky of its own. And I forgot, I do want to put a strip down here to protect the... When you're folding back and forth, sometimes you can... Um, these envelopes will tear. So I do like to add a strip where it folds back and forth. So let me just... Add some glue to that and slide it in as well. Kind of lines the pocket as well, but it also protects it when it's folding back and forth, back and forth, because envelopes weren't made for this, and so they're a little bit um, they're a little bit weak to be fold using as a flap. So I always like to add something to them, either on the outside or the inside. So I'm just going to keep sliding it in because I don't want it to cover up my cover up where I punched it. I'm just going to add it like that. I'm trying to even it up and down. Okay, that's fine. So then I'll just cut that little bit of corner off on each side. And now I'm just going to add some glue here. going to attach it to this page. I'm trying to even it up and down. Okay. I'm just going to fold that over. the original fold line. I think that's pretty. And then we have here and here. Okay, so there's a problem with this one. You're not going to be able to get stuff in and out the envelope easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in Hmm. What if I use my punch? Let's see how this does. Let's just come in with the punch here and punch it in the center. Did 
that's is that gonna be enough there? Let me just try. Yeah, we can slide stuff in and out. Okay, so now we have that. I'm just gonna press down. And I think I will add some decorations to this still. So we I like to even up my decorating on each side of the journal. So we don't want one side to be heavier than the other. So this is a pocket from the Facebook group, one of the freebies. And then these are some different, I don't know, think that these are all from the same freebie but I just combined them to make a little thing here. So I'm just gonna add that there and it's going to be a tuck spot as well. So I'm gonna glue here and here. Okay, so then I'm just gonna add that right here. Actually, before I add that, I just realized I want to put a little piece of lace there. So let's add the lace first. And I have got glue on me and papers are glued to me. Let's see here, what's the right side? That's the right. So let's add this lace before we add the pocket. Because this is called with a touch of this kit is called with a touch of lace, so I want to be sure to add plenty of lace to this kit, to this journal. I mean, I always wind up calling my journals kits because I'm trying to talk about the kit that I'm using. But I do want to add lots of lace to this journal. Okay, and then I got to trim that off up there. Okay, let's just trim that little bit of. That off there, and then we'll trim it off here. And I like to use these little bits of scraps into my when I make little. I glue all my strips of scraps together and decorate them, and then I make little clusters. And so I like to use those. I don't know if I've, here's a little cluster using just strips of paper and pieces of fabric left over. And I always like how that turns out. So now the pocket's going to be added here. With that glue, yeah, that glue. Well, maybe I should have a little bit more. That glue may have started to dry. Just don't trust it. I want to be sure everything is sturdy. When I put a journal together, I probably use too much glue, but I want to be sure everything is nice and sturdy. And I like how this looks with this page. That's, I think that looks good together. Put that aside for now. That's a really busy page, isn't it? Oh, it looks good. I love how this looks through. You can see the pinks. So I think that may go there, actually. So, and it's got some tags in it. So it's got two tags that I made up that came with it as well. And then I put tea stain paper on the back side. So I'm just going to add that. And I add top. This could be like another tuck. So I'm just going to add glue to the top here and the bottom. It's going to be another little tuck spot, kind of like a belly band tuck spot, but not quite a belly band. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to slide all this up out of the way. Let's see if I can't get this glue out. Then I'm just going to add it. I think I'll center it up right here on the page. And so look, I'll show you. Then this little card could fit right there in it. So that's kind of neat, isn't it? I'll wait to add those once I sew the book together. Okay, so I found another pocket that I have, and that's one I made up. 
And that one was supposed to go, let's see, where do I want to put that one? On the fabric page. I made it up for this. So I just got to decide, do I want it here? Or should it go here? I'm thinking I really like it right here next to these flowers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add it right here. And what I've done is I've used some um, canvas fabric. I've just ripped it down. This is a card from the kit, and then here is just a little dolly that I have. So I'm just going to make this a pocket. Putting lots of glue so the pocket won't go anywhere. I'm just going to center it up on that page somewhat centered. There we go. Just want to make sure it's not crooked or doesn't look crooked at least. That's cute. That's another cute little pocket. Okay. So I need to decorate this side with something. I forget I have all these embellishments. Oh, I have these. I had totally forgotten about them. Okay, this is this is what I needed to find. So yes, one of these could make a great pocket for this side here. I think I'll use this one. I'm going to have to cut it down. So that it fits on the page. Okay, so I've got this book page here and I'm just going to use it to stiffen up the back. It's a pretty good thickness to this book page. And then I'll trim it down to what the book size needs to, I mean, the pocket size needs to be for the book. And this is just a journaling card from the kit. We'll have to slice it off just a little just to get it to fit. I think that'll be good. Right there. I think that that'll be on the page nicely that way. I'm trying to see where the page ends. I think I'm going to have to trim just a little bit more off. I go from side to side to do it. I think that's good. I just don't want to sew into it when I'm sewing. So now what I'm going to do is I want to add a piece of lace to it and I got to decide do I want lace on the top side or bottom. Let's see here what lace I have first. That's, oh, that might be pretty like that. That's what I'm going to do. Just going to add that to the top. Just looking to see where I should cut it. Let me just try right here. What was the, what's the front and what's the back? That's the back. This is the front. Kind of want to 
keeping it up here. And now I'm just going to add some more glue at the bottom here because I did. This actually looks like lace that would, you would run ribbon through. Maybe I shouldn't have run some ribbon through it, huh? I wonder. I had about too much glue at that time. Okay. So now I'm wondering, would it look neat to have something going through there? Across there. I think it's pretty. I think I do want to put that. Just straight across that little, where the hole is in the lace. There we go. Oops, that's wanting to ravel, so maybe I need to pull it over here and trim it once the glue dries. Like that. I think I'll trim it. Don't pull any strings. And I'm going to add just a little glue here just to keep it from moving anymore, you know, coming unraveling. And I'll just press it down. Do the same thing on this end. Just add some glue, because this glue dries clear anyway. And just pat it down. That away. While the strings kind of go towards the back, and it shouldn't unravel. And then we're just going to add it to this cloth page. I think it's a very pretty pocket. So we'll just add it right there. Get some of the glue off my fingers first. Okay, and we'll just stick it down. There we go. Press that for just a minute. Hold it down while I'm moving some things out of the way because I'm getting so many things over here. And I just realized I should have inked the edges and this is still up a little bit. Where's my sponge? Did I not add glue to the bottom? I didn't. Well, that's perfect. I'll just ink it and then I'll finish gluing it. Okay. I'm a mess today, I do believe. I'm not sure why, what I was thinking. Why I didn't glue the bottom. That works to do that. So let me go back and glue the bottom now. I just glued the sides. Everything you put in that pocket would have come right out, wouldn't it? There we go. No big deal, though. No stress. We're just, we're just crafting. Even though I'm having one of those days again. So I do want to get everything added to this one. And then in the next video, we'll add the tags and journaling cards. So let's just get all the pockets added. Thinking I want to put that there. So I just need to glue it down. Set this aside and set this aside. And just do it like this. Make sure it's not going to stick out too far because. There we go. It won't stick out of the book if it doesn't stick out here. Alrighty. 
just need to add some blue. And we have to add something back here. And I'm going to go ahead, get a hold of this and glue it down. I didn't glue far enough over. Just reach into there and add more glue. And there we go. So we have that page. That'll be good. And I know these two don't match, but if you remember, we're going to put this in here so they don't see each other. So I think that looks good together. And we're going to add this one as a pocket here. Kind of want to put on the edge so the lace kind of hangs out too. Okay, and not be, I don't think it's going to be a pocket. I think this one's going to be, I'm going to add it, I'm trying to figure out where I'm adding it. I think it's going to go right here, and I think it's just going to be a tuck spot. Oh, I need to use Fabri-Tac because we're doing this on fabric. We want it to stick to our fabric. And then along the bottom here. And this is from Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Week, don't know which week, week 30 something. It's a recent one. And so um, you can see that in my Roxy's Weekly Challenge playlist. And then all of the videos making the pieces for this journal, like this envelope and the pockets and well, the with, I mean, this paper bag and then the envelopes and all those things will be under with a touch of lace journal playlist so that you can see all those in one spot. Well, I think this is a good stopping point for the video. And so in the next video, I will be finishing up embellishing the journal and adding all the tags and journaling cards. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.